Next up here on the Fantasy Flex is our elite entry segment where I dive into the prize picks app to build some entries. I identify some markets I like, you build your own prize picks entries, and all of us have a little fun and make some money. So today I'm going to look at three, actually four, NFL Week 10 quarterback plays on prize picks. Can you believe we are halfway through the season? Uh, just crazy how fast it's moving. So the first play that I like is Mac Jones under 220 and a half passing yards at home versus the Browns. Death, taxes, and Mac Jones unders. We are now on week three of hitting these. So I am going to keep it rolling against the Browns. The Patriots defense is keeping them very competitive in games. And even in the games where the Patriots actually put up a lot of points, Mac Jones isn't getting a ton of yardage. Like he just put up barely 300 points in a game where they scored 54 points. Uh, they just beat Carolina 24 to six. And Jones had a paltry 139 yards. Yes, it's a tough defense, but... I think they'll continue to play conservatively against the Browns this week, who are allowing just 225 passing yards per game. I think Mac Jones is below average in terms of the quarterbacks that the Browns have faced this year, so I definitely like the under. The next play that I like is Matt Ryan over 275 and a half passing yards on the road in Dallas. Of course, Matt Ryan and the Falcons pop off the week I fade them, of course. Uh, but Ryan broke the 300 passing yard mark for the fourth time this year against a really tough Saints defense on the road. So I do see a lot of cohesion in this offense. I'm pleasantly surprised. He will have a much easier time this week against the Cowboys. who rank eighth worst in passing yards allowed per game. Trayvon Diggs has been like the big flashy story name thing this year, but outside of him, their secondary has been extremely exploitable overall have allowed 270 and a half passing yards per game. And Diggs and this whole secondary actually looked super exposed against Teddy Bridgewater and the Broncos who jumped out to a 30, nothing lead. So I think Ryan will carve up this D and smash the over. Another play that I like is Ryan Tannehill under 240 and a half passing yards at home versus the saints. Even in games where the Titans have put up a lot of points, Tannehill has just been largely unimpressive. And it's a little bit surprising because I think there were a lot of people that thought with Derrick Henry gone, he would have to be throwing a lot. And it just hasn't seemed like that's the case. He has two games all year with multiple touchdowns, three sub 200 passing yard games, which is just crazy for a guy that was incredibly efficient last year. The Titans face the Saints this week, who, yes, were just lit up by the Falcons. But even without Derrick Henry, Ryan Tannehill just tallied 143 yards last week. So I have no confidence that he's going to, you know, hit 250 yards. So I really like the under here. And then the final play that I like is on the other side of the ball. Trevor Simeon under 230 and a half passing yards on the road in Tennessee. This entire pass game just left me wondering why Sean Payton and this team started Trevor Simeon in the first place. It was truly a head scratcher that Hill wasn't named a starter in my opinion. And I think there's a good chance that Simeon doesn't even make it through this game. Like he could get yanked halfway through, especially if this game starts to get away from them. Uh, he had 249 passing yards last week against the Falcons Swiss cheese secondary. And this is another positive matchup against the Titans though. You know, they did just beat up on the Rams, which are one of the top teams in the NFL. I thought they were Super Bowl contenders and I think they probably still will be, but I think they'll go under this number. Um, I just think that it's going to be kind of a low scoring game, maybe a good game for the running backs. All right, so that is our elite entry with a lot of unders going with Mac Jones under 220 and a half passing yards at home versus the Browns, Matt Ryan over 275 and a half passing yards on the road in Dallas, Ryan Tannehill under 240 and a half passing yards at home versus the Saints, and Trevor Simeon under 230 and a half passing yards on the road in Tennessee. As a reminder, you can mix and match fantasy points and player props to make them, your lineups super spicy. Also, prize picks markets move, so you will want to be nimble to lock in the best numbers and make your picks as soon as possible. If you have not created a prize picks account, please check out the link in our episode description because prize picks has a special offer for fantasy flex listeners. They will match your first deposit up to $100. Just click the link in our episode description or visit prizepix.com and use promo code action 10. 